thoughtful people know that life is not about how much money we can make, how many people a person can run around with. It's not about how many compliments we can elicit from other people. It's not even about how many children a person can have or how many years they can stay married. What life is about is the perfection of our souls, the journey that we go on, the ability to start off and develop ourselves in such a way that we can have a deep self-respect that leads us to a profound sense of gratitude that life is wonderful and eventually use that emotion to, to connect with the divine. You know, a person should ask themselves, 10 years ago, how selfish was I? Am I less selfish today? Five years ago, have I been working on my anger? Was I angry five years ago and today I'm no longer angry? Maybe a person might even say, three years ago, I never used to think about God, but today I was looking at the mountains and I said to myself, life is so great. Thank you, Almighty, for blessing me so much. That's what the development of life is all about. How do we get there? Well, as we know, sometimes we are put in situations where we know there's a right thing and a lesser right thing, and we have conflict, which one we're going to do. The Talmud asks an amazing question, and it gives us the situation of you're walking down the street and you see a friend who has a donkey who's overburdened and needs help unloading the donkey, and then you see next to him an enemy who also has an overburdened donkey. Which one are you going to help first? Well, naturally, most of us would say, let me help my friend, and I'll use that as an excuse not to talk to my enemy. Says the Torah, no. Because it's more difficult to go to your enemy, go to your enemy. Perfect your character. Help him first, then go help your friend. And in the process, learn to rise above emotions of hatred and selfishness and really do the right thing. Do the right thing because it's sometimes difficult. And in the process, we develop a very profound sense of, sense, uh, of self-respect. And really then we can view what a beautiful world it is and experience all the gratitude that the Almighty has allowed us to feel.